Sardinia Sardini, Italian, Sardegna Sardia, Sardinian, Sardinia Sardia or Sardinia Sardinja, Sassaris, Sardinia, Galores, Saldinia, Algaris, Sardinia, Tabarkino, Sardegna is the second largest island in the Mediterranean Sea after Sicily and before Cyprus. It is located west of the Italian peninsula and to the immediate south of the French island of Corsica. Sardinia is politically a region of Italy, whose official name is Regione Autonoma della Sardegna, Regione Autonoma de Sardinia, Autonomous Region of Sardinia, and enjoys some degree of domestic autonomy granted by a specific statute. It is divided into four provinces and a metropolitan city, with Cagliari being the region's capital and its largest city as well. Sardinia's indigenous language and the other minority languages Sassaris, Corsican Galores, Algaris Catalan and Ligurian Tabarkino spoken on the island are recognized by the regional law and enjoy equal dignity with Italian, due to the variety of its ecosystems, which include mountains, woods, plains, largely uninhabited territories, streams, rocky coasts and long sandy beaches, the island has been defined metaphorically as a micro-continent. In the modern era, many travelers and writers have exalted its beauty, remained untouched until the contemporary age and immersed in a landscape that houses the vestiges of the Nuragic civilization. Etymology <inaudible> 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 The name Sardinia is from the pre-Roman noun asterisk south a road, later romanized as Sardis feminine Sarda. It makes its first appearance on the Nora Stone, where the word Cern testifies to the name's existence when the Phoenician merchants first arrived. According to Timaeus, one of Plato's dialogues, Sardinia referred to by most ancient Greek authors as Sardo. Sardo and its people as well might have been named after a legendary woman going by Sardo ancient Greek, Sardo born in Sardis, Sardis capital of the ancient kingdom of Lydia. There has also been speculation that identifies the ancient Nuragic Sards with the Sherdan, one of the Sea Peoples. It is suggested that the name had a religious connotation from its use also as the adjective for the ancient Sardinian mythological hero god Sardis Pater, Sardinian father, or father of the Sardinians, as well as being the stem of the adjective, Sardonic. In classical antiquity, Sardinia was called a number of names besides Sardo, Sardo or Sardinia, like Agnusa, the Latinized form of ancient Greek, Agnusa Sandaliotis, ancient Greek, Sandaliotis and Argyrofleps, ancient Greek. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Geography Sardinia is the second largest island in the Mediterranean Sea after Sicily and before Cyprus with an area of 24,100 square kilometers, 9,305 square miles. It is situated between 38 degrees 51 and 41 degrees 18 latitude north respectively Isola del Toro and Isola La Prisa and 8 degrees 8 and 9 degrees 50 east longitude respectively Capo dell'Argentiera and Capo Camino. To the west of Sardinia is the Sea of Sardinia, a unit of the Mediterranean Sea, to Sardinia's east is the Tyrrhenian Sea, which is also an element of the Mediterranean Sea. The nearest land masses are clockwise from north the island of Corsica, the Italian peninsula, Sicily, Tunisia, the Balearic Islands, and Provence. The Tyrrhenian Sea portion of the Mediterranean Sea is directly to the east of Sardinia between the Sardinian east coast and the west coast of the Italian mainland peninsula. The Strait of Bonifacio is directly north of Sardinia and separates Sardinia from the French island of Corsica. The coasts of Sardinia, 1849 kilometers, 1149 miles long, are generally high and rocky with long, relatively straight stretches of coastline, many outstanding headlands, a few wide, deep bays, rias, many inlets and with various smaller islands off the coast. The island has an ancient geoformation and, unlike Sicily and mainland Italy, is not earthquake prone. Its rocks date in fact from the Paleozoic era up to 500 million years old. Due to long erosion processes, the island's highlands formed of granite, schist, trachyte, basalt called geras or gale, sandstone and dolomite limestone called tunnery or heels, average at between 300 to 1000 meters 984 to 3281 feet. The highest peak is Punta La Marmora, Perdis Carpias in Sardinian language, 1,834 meters, 6,017 feet, part of the Gennargentu Ranges in the center of the island. 
Other mountain chains are Monte Limbara, 1,362 meters (4,469 feet) in the northeast; the chain of Margine and Gossiano, 1,259 meters (4,131 feet), running crosswise for 40 kilometers (25 miles) towards the north; the Monte Albo, 1,057 meters (3,468 feet), the Set Fratelli Range in the southeast, and the Sulcais Mountains and the Monte Lenis, 1,236 meters. 4,055 feet. The island's ranges and plateau are separated by wide alluvial valleys and flatlands, the main ones being the Campidano in the southwest between Aristano and Colliery and the Nura in the northwest. Sardinia has few major rivers, the largest being the Terso, 151 kilometers (94 miles) long, which flows into the Sea of Sardinia, the Caginas (115 kilometers), and the Flumendosa (127 kilometers). There are 54 artificial lakes and dams that supply water and electricity. The main ones are Lake Omodio and Lake Coginas. The only natural freshwater lake is Lago di Barretz. A number of large, shallow, salt water lagoons and pools are located along the 1,850 kilometers 1,150 miles of the coastline. Topic. Climate. The climate of the island is variable from area to area, due to several factors including the extension in latitude and the elevation. It can be classified in two different macrobioclimates Mediterranean pluviseasonal oceanic and temperate oceanic, one macrobioclimatic variant, called submediterranean, and four classes of continentality from weak semihyperoceanic to weak semicontinental, eight thermotypic horizons from lower thermomediterranean to upper supratemperate and seven ombrotypic horizons from lower dry to lower hyperhumid, resulting in a combination of 43 different isobioclimates. During the year there is a major concentration of rainfall in the winter and autumn, some heavy showers in the spring and snowfalls in the highlands. The average temperature is between 11 to 17 degrees Celsius 52 to 63 degrees Fahrenheit, with mild winters and hot summers on the coasts 9 to 11 degrees Celsius 48 to 52 degrees Fahrenheit in January, 23 to 26 degrees Celsius 73 to 79 degrees Fahrenheit in July, and cold winters and cool summers on the mountains minus 2 to 4 degrees Celsius 28 to 39 degrees Fahrenheit in January, 16 to 20 degrees Celsius 61 to 68 degrees Fahrenheit in July. Rainfall has a Mediterranean distribution all over the island, with almost totally rainless summers and wet autumns, winters and springs. However, in summer, the rare rainfalls can be characterized by short but severe thunderstorms, which can cause flash floods. The climate is also heavily influenced by the vicinity of the Gulf of Genoa barometric low and the relative proximity of the Atlantic Ocean. Low pressures in autumn can generate the formation of the so-called metacanes, extratropical cyclones which affect the Mediterranean basin. In 2013, the island was hit by several cyclones, included the cyclone Cleopatra, which dumped almost 18 inches millimeters of rainfall within an hour and a half. Sardinia being relatively large and hilly, weather is not uniform, in particular the east is drier, but paradoxically it suffers the worst rainstorms. In autumn 2009, it rained more than 200 mm in, in a single day in Siniscola, and 19 November 2013, locations in Sardinia were reported to have received more than 431 mm inches within two hours. The western coast has a higher distribution of rainfalls even for modest elevations for instance Iglesias, elevation 200 meters 656 feet, average annual precipitation 815 millimeters 32.1 in. The driest part of the island is the coast of Colliery Gulf, with less than 450 mm .7 in per year. The minimum is at Capo Carbonara at the extreme southeast of the island 381 mm .0 in, and the wettest is the top of the Genargentu mountain with almost 1,500 mm .1 in per year. The average for the entire island is about 800 mm per year, which is more than enough for the needs of the population and vegetation. The mistral from the northwest is the dominant wind on and off throughout the year, though it is most prevalent in winter and spring. It can blow quite strongly, but it is usually dry and cool. History Hey, 
Topic: Prehistory. Sardinia is one of the most geologically ancient bodies of land in Europe. The island was populated in various waves of immigration from prehistory until recent times. The first people to settle in Sardinia during the Upper Paleolithic and the Mesolithic came from continental Europe. The Paleolithic colonization of the island is demonstrated by the evidences in Oleana's Corbedu cave. In the Mesolithic, some populations, particularly from present day Tyrrhenian coast of Italy, managed to move to northern Sardinia via Corsica. The Neolithic Revolution was introduced in the 6th millennium BC by the Cardial culture coming from the Italian peninsula. In the mid-Neolithic period, the Otsieri culture, probably of Aegean origin, flourished on the island spreading the hypogeum tombs known as Domus de Janus, while the Arzashena culture of Galora built the first megaliths, circular tombs. In the early 3rd millennium BC, the metallurgy of copper and silver began to develop. During the late Chalcolithic, the so-called beaker culture, coming from various parts of continental Europe, appeared in Sardinia. These new people predominantly settled on the west coast, where the majority of the sites attributed to them had been found. The beaker culture was followed in the early Bronze Age by the Bonanaro culture which showed both reminiscences of the beaker and influences by the Pallada culture. As time passed, the different Sardinian populations appear to have become united in customs, yet remained politically divided into various small, tribal groupings, at times banding together, and at others waging war against each other. Habitations consisted of round thatched stone huts. Neuragic civilization From about 1500 BC onwards, villages were built around round tower fortresses called Nuragi singular form, Nurag, usually pluralized in English as Nurages. These towers were often reinforced and enlarged with battlements. Tribal boundaries were guarded by smaller lookout nurages erected on strategic hills commanding a view of other territories. Today, some 7,000 nurages dot the Sardinian landscape. While initially these nurages had a relatively simple structure, with time they became extremely complex and monumental see for example Nurag Santu Antin, Su Nurak Si, or Nurag Arabiu. The scale, complexity and territorial spread of these buildings attest to the level of wealth accumulated by the Nuragic people, their advances in technology and the complexity of their society, which was able to coordinate large numbers of people with different roles for the purpose of building the monumental Nuragas. The Nuragas are not the only Nuragic buildings that survive, as there are several sacred wells around Sardinia and other buildings that had religious purposes such as the Giant's Grave monumental collective tombs and collections of religious buildings that probably served as destinations for pilgrimage and mass religious rites e.g. Su Ramanzezu near Bidi. Sardinia was at the time at the center of several commercial routes and it was an important provider of raw materials such as copper and lead, which were pivotal for the manufacture of the time. By controlling the extraction of these raw materials and by commercing them with other countries, the Nuragic civilization was able to accumulate wealth and reach a level of sophistication that is not only reflected in the complexity of its surviving buildings, but also in its artworks e.g. the votive bronze statuettes found across Sardinia or the statues of Monte Prama. According to some scholars, the Nuragic peoples are identifiable with the Sheridan, a tribe of the Sea Peoples. The Nuragic civilization was linked with other contemporaneous megalithic civilization of the western Mediterranean, such as the Talaiotic culture of the Balearic Islands and the Taurian civilization of South Corsica. Evidence of trade with the other civilizations of the time is attested by several artifacts e.g. pots, coming from as far as Cyprus, Crete, mainland Greece, Spain and Italy, that have been found in Nuragic sites, bearing witness to the scope of commercial relations between the Nuragic people and other peoples in Europe and beyond. <laughs> Ancient history Around the 9th century BC the Phoenicians began visiting Sardinia with increasing frequency, presumably initially needing safe overnight and all-weather anchorages along their trade routes from the coast of modern-day Lebanon as far afield as the African and European Atlantic coasts and beyond. The most common ports of call were Corallus, Nora, Bithia, Sulci, and Theros. 
Claudian, a 4th century Latin poet, in his poem De Bello Gildonico, stated that Corallus was founded by people from Tyre, probably in the same time of the foundation of Carthage, in the 9th or 8th century BC. In the 6th century BC, after the conquest of western Sicily, the Carthaginians planned to annex Sardinia. A first invasion attempt led by Malco was foiled by the victorious Nuragic resistance. However, from 510 BC, the southern and west-central part of the island was invaded a second time and came under Carthaginian rule. In 238 BC, taking advantage of Carthage having to face a rebellion of her mercenaries the Mercenary War after the First Punic War 264 BC, the Romans annexed Corsica and Sardinia from the Carthaginians. The two islands became the province of Corsica and Sardinia. They were not given a provincial governor until 227 BC. The Romans faced many rebellions, and it took them many years to pacify both islands. The existing coastal cities were enlarged and embellished, and Roman colonies such as Turris Libisonis and Feronia were founded. These were populated by Roman immigrants. The Roman military occupation brought the Nuragic civilization to an end, except for the mountainous interior of the island, which the Romans called Barbaria, meaning barbarian land. Roman rule in Sardinia lasted 694 years, during which time the province was an important source of grain for the capital. Latin came to be the dominant spoken language during this period, though Roman culture was slower to take hold, and Roman rule was often contested by the Sardinian tribes from the mountainous regions. <laughs> Vandal conquest The East Germanic tribe of the Vandals conquered Sardinia in 456. Their rule lasted for 78 years up to 534, when 400 Eastern Roman troops led by Cyril, one of the officers of the Fodorati, retook the island. It is known that the Vandal government continued the forms of the existing Roman imperial structure. The governor of Sardinia continued to be called the Prizes and apparently continued to manage military, judicial, and civil governmental functions via imperial procedures. The only Vandal governor of Sardinia about whom there is substantial record is the last, Godas, a Visigoth noble. In AD 530, a coup d'état in Carthage removed King Hilduric, a convert to Nicene Christianity, in favor of his cousin Gelimer, an Arian Christian like most of the Elite in his kingdom. Godas was sent to take charge and ensure the loyalty of Sardinia. He did the exact opposite, declaring the island's independence from Carthage and opening negotiations with Emperor Justinian I, who had declared war on Hilduric's behalf. In AD 533 Gelimer sent the bulk of his army and navy 120 vessels and 5,000 men to Sardinia to subdue Godas, with the catastrophic result that the Vandal Kingdom was overwhelmed when Justinian's own army under Belisarius arrived at Carthage in their absence. The Vandal Kingdom ended and Sardinia was returned to Roman rule. <laughs> Byzantine era and the rise of the judgedoms In 533, Sardinia returned to the rule of the Byzantine Empire when the Vandals were defeated by the armies of Justinian I under the general Belisarius in the Battle of Tricamarum. In their African kingdom, Belisarius sent his general Cyril to Sardinia to retake the island. Sardinia remained in Byzantine hands for the next 300 years aside from a short period in which it was invaded by the Ostrogoths in 551. Under Byzantine rule, the island was divided into districts called Marii, Marii in Byzantine Greek, which were governed by a judge residing in Corallus and garrisoned by an army stationed in Forum Traiani today Fordingianus under the command of a dux. During this time, Christianity took deeper root on the island, supplanting the paganism which had survived into the early Middle Ages in the culturally conservative hinterlands. Along with lay Christianity, the followers of monastic figures such as Basil of Caesarea became established in Sardinia. While Christianity penetrated the majority of the population, the region of Barbagia remained largely pagan and, probably, partially non-Latin speaking. They re-established a short-lived independent domain with Sardinian heathen lay and religious traditions, one of its kings being Hospito. Pope Gregory I wrote a letter to Hospito defining him, Dux Barbarisanorum and, being Christian, the leader and best of his people. In this unique letter about Hospito, the Pope prompts him to convert his people who, living all like irrational animals, ignore the true God and worship wood and stone. 
Barbaricini omnes, ut in sensata animalia vivant, diem verum nesciant, ligna autum et lapide zadorant. The dates and circumstances of the end of Byzantine rule in Sardinia are not known. Direct central control was maintained at least through c. 650, after which local legates were empowered in the face of the rebellion of Gregory the Patrician, Exarch of Africa and the first invasion of the Muslim conquest of the Maghreb. There is some evidence that senior Byzantine administration in the Exarchate of Africa retreated to Corallus following the final fall of Carthage to the Arabs in 697. The loss of imperial control in Africa led to escalating raids by Moors and Berbers on the island, the first of which is documented in 705, forcing increased military self-reliance in the province. Communication with the central government became daunting if not impossible during and after the Muslim conquest of Sicily between 827 and 902. A letter by Pope Nicholas I as early as 864 mentions the Sardinian judges. Without reference to the empire and a letter by Pope John VIII reigned 872-882 refers to them as principes, princes. By the time of De Administrando Imperio, completed in 952, the Byzantine authorities no longer listed Sardinia as an imperial province, suggesting they considered it lost. In all likelihood a local noble family, the Lacan Gunnail, acceded to the power of Archon, still identifying themselves as vassals of the Byzantines, but de facto independent as communications with Constantinople were very difficult. We know only two names of those rulers, Seleucios Salausios and the Protospatharios Turcotarios from two inscriptions, who probably reigned between the 10th and the 11th century. These rulers were still closely linked to the Byzantines, both for a pact of ancient vassalage, and from the ideological point of view, with the use of the Byzantine Greek language in a Romance country, and the use of art of Byzantine inspiration. In the early 11th century, an attempt to conquer the island was made by the Moors based in the Iberian Peninsula. The only records of that war are from Pisan and Genoese chronicles. The Christians won, but after that, the previous Sardinian kingdom was totally undermined and divided into four small states, Colliery Calari, Arborea Arbury, Galora, Torres or Logudoro. Whether this final transformation from imperial civil servant to independent sovereign bodies resulted from imperial abandonment or local assertion, by the 10th century, the so-called Judici Sardinian, Judices, Latin, Judices, literally, judges. A Byzantine administrative title had emerged as the autonomous rulers of Sardinia. The title of Judas changed with the language and local understanding of the position, becoming the Sardinian Judic, essentially a king or sovereign, while Judicato Sardinian, Logu, literally, judgedom, came to mean, state. A letter by Mieszko I of Poland to Pope John XV proves that the judgedoms were known even in Poland Udex, and that they played an important role in medieval Europe. Early medieval Sardinian political institutions evolved from the millennium old Roman imperial structures with relatively little Germanic influence. Although the judgedoms were hereditary lordships, the old Byzantine imperial notion that personal title or honor was separate from the state still remained, so the judicato was not regarded as the personal property of the monarch as was common in later European feudalism. Like the imperial systems, the new order also preserved semi-democratic forms, with national assemblies called the crown of the realm. Each judicato saw to its own defense, maintained its own laws and administration, and looked after its own foreign and trading affairs. The history of the four judgedoms would be defined by the contest for influence between the rival rising sea powers of Genoa and Pisa, and later the ambitions of the Kingdom of Aragon. The Judicato of Colliery or Pluminos, during the regency of Torchatorio V of Colliery and his successor, William III, was allied with the Republic of Genoa. Because of this it was brought to an end in 1258, when its capital, Santa Igia, was stormed and destroyed by an alliance of Sardinian and Pisan forces. The territory then was divided between the Republic of Pisa, the Della Gerardesca family from Italy, and the Sardinian judgedoms of Arborea and Galora. 
Pisa maintained the control over the fortress of Castel di Cagliari founded by Pisan merchants in 1216-1217 of an east of Santa Igia. In the southwest the Count Ugolino della Gerardesca promoted the birth of the town of Villa di Chiesa today Iglesias to exploit the nearby rich silver deposits. The Judicato of Logudoro also called Torres was also allied to the Republic of Genoa and came to an end in 1259 after the death of the Judicessa Queen Adelasia. The territory was divided up between the Doria and Malaspina families of Genoa and the Bossera family of Arborea, while the city of Sassari became a small republic, along the lines of the Italian city states, Comuni, confederated firstly with Pisa and then with Genoa. The Giudicato of Galora ended in the year 1288, when the last Giudice, Nino Visconti, a friend of Dante Alighieri, was driven out by the Pisans, who occupied the territory. The Giudicato of Arborea, having Aristano as its capital, had the longest life compared to the other kingdoms. Its later history is entwined with the attempt to unify the island into a single Sardinian state Republica Sardisca, Sardinian Republic, in Sardinian, Nacio Sarda or Sardesca, Sardinian Nation, in Catalan against their relatives and former Aragonese allies. <laughs> Aragonese period In 1297, Pope Boniface VIII established on his own initiative motu proprio a hypothetical regnum Sardinia et Corsicae, Kingdom of Sardinia and Corsica, in order to settle the War of the Sicilian Vespers diplomatically. This had broken out in 1282 between the Capetian House of Anjou and Catalans over the possession of Sicily. Despite the existence of the indigenous states, the Pope offered this newly created crown to James II of Aragon, promising him support should he wish to conquer Pisan Sardinia in exchange for Sicily. In 1324, in alliance with the Kingdom of Arborea and following a military campaign that lasted a year or so, the Aragon Crown Prince Alfonso led a Catalan army that occupied the Pisan territories of Cagliari and Galora along with the allied city of Sassari, naming them the Kingdom of Sardinia and Corsica. The kingdom was to remain a dominion of the Crown of Aragon under the kings of Spain until the Treaty of Utrecht. During this period, the Judicato of Arborea promulgated the legal code of the kingdom in the Carta de Logu Charter of the, land. the Carta de Logu was originally compiled by Marianus IV of Arborea, and was amended and updated by Mariano's daughter, female judge Judicessa or Juagisa Eleanor of Arborea. The legal code was written in Sardinian and established a whole range of citizens' rights. Among the revolutionary concepts in this Carta de Logu was the right of women to refuse marriage and to own property. In terms of civil liberties, the code made provincial 14th century Sardinia one of the most developed societies in all of Europe. In 1353, Peter IV of Aragon, following Aragonese customs, granted a parliament to the Kingdom of Sardinia and Corsica, which was followed by some degree of self government under a viceroy and judicial independence. This parliament, however, had limited powers. It consisted of high ranking military commanders, the clergy, and the nobility. The Kingdom of Aragon also introduced the feudal system into the areas of Sardinia that it ruled. The Sardinian Judicati never adopted feudalism, and Arborea maintained its parliament, called the Corona de Logu Crown of the Realm. In this parliament, apart from the nobles and military commanders, also sat the representatives of each township and village. The Corona de Logu exercised some control over the king, under the rule of the Banis consensus the king could be deposed or even executed if he did not follow the rules of the kingdom. Broken the alliance with the Crown of Aragon, from 1353 to 1409, the Arborean Judici Marianus IV, Hugh III and Brancilione Doria husband of Eleanor of Arborea, succeeded in occupying all of Sardinia except the heavily fortified towns of the castle of Cagliari and Alghero, which for years remained as the only Aragonese dominions in Sardinia Sardinian Catalan War. In 1409, Martin I of Sicily, king of Sicily and heir to the crown of Aragon, defeated the Sardinians at the Battle of San Lori. The battle was fought by about 20,000 Sardinian, Genoese and French knights, enrolled from their kingdom at a time when the population of Sardinia had been greatly depleted by the plague. Despite the Sardinian army outnumbering the Aragonese army, they were defeated. The Judicato of Arborea disappeared in 1420, when its rights were sold by the last king for 100,000 gold florins, and after some of its most notable men switched sides in exchange for privileges. 
For example, Leonardo Cubello, with some claim to the crown being from a family related to the kings of Arborea, was granted the title of Marquis of Uristano and feudal rights on a territory that partly overlapped with the original extension of the Kingdom of Arborea in exchange for his subjection to the Aragonese monarchs. The conquest of Sardinia by the Kingdom of Aragon meant the introduction of the feudal system throughout Sardinia. Thus Sardinia is probably the only European country where feudalism was introduced in the transition period from the Middle Ages to the early modern period, at a time when feudalism had already been abandoned by many other European countries. <laughs> Spanish period In 1469, the heir to Sardinia, Ferdinand II of Aragon, married Isabel of Castile, and the Kingdom of Sardinia, which was separated from Corsica, was to be inherited by their Habsburg grandson, Charles I of Spain, with the state symbol of the Four Moors. The successors of Charles I of Spain, in order to defend their Mediterranean territories from raids of the Barbary pirates, fortified the Sardinian shores with a system of coastal lookout towers, allowing the gradual resettlement of some coastal areas. The Kingdom of Sardinia remained Aragonese Spanish for about 400 years, from 1323 to 1708, assimilating a number of Spanish traditions, customs, and linguistic expressions, nowadays vividly portrayed in the folklore parades of Saint Eficio in Colliery, the 1st of May, the cavalcade on Cesari, last but one Sunday in May, and the Redeemer in Nuoro, the 28th of August. To this day, Catalan is still spoken in the northwestern city of Alguero, Lalgar. Many famines have been reported in Sardinia. According to Stephen L. Dyson and Robert J. Rowland, the Jesuits of Colliery recorded years during the late 16th century of such hunger and so sterile that the majority of the people could sustain life only with wild ferns and other weeds. During the terrible famine of 1680, some 80,000 people, out of a total population of 250,000, are said to have died, and entire villages were devastated. Topic. Savoyard period In 1708, as a consequence of the Spanish War of Succession, the rule of the Kingdom of Sardinia passed from King Philip V of Spain into the hands of the Austrians, who occupied the island. The Treaty of Utrecht granted Sardinia to the Austrians, but in 1717, Cardinal Giulio Alberoni, minister of Philip V of Spain, reoccupied Sardinia. In 1718, with the Treaty of London, Sardinia was handed over to the House of Savoy, that would impose the Italian language on the island in 1760. In 1793, Sardinians repelled the French expedition de Sardaigne during the French Revolutionary Wars. On 23 February 1793, Domenico Millilier, commanding the Sardinian fleet, defeated the fleets of the French Republic near the Maddalena Archipelago, of which then Lieutenant Napoleon Bonaparte was a leader. Millilier became the first recipient of the gold medal of military valor of the Italian armed forces. In the same month, Sardinians stopped the attempted French landing on the beach of Quartu Santalina, near the capital of Colliery. Because of these successes, the representatives of the nobility and clergy formulated five requests addressed to the King Victor Amadeus III of Sardinia, but these were rejected. Because of this discontent, on 28 April 1794, during an uprising in Colliery, two Savoyard officials were killed. That was the start of a revolt called the Sardinian Vespers in the island, which culminated on 28 April 1794 commemorated today as Sa Dai de Sa Sardinia with the expulsion or even execution of the Piedmontese officers for a few days from the capital colliery. On 28 December 1795 Cesari insurgents demonstrating against feudalism, mainly from the region of Logudoro, occupied the city. On 13 February 1796, in order to prevent the spread of the revolt, the viceroy Filippo Vivalda gave the Sardinian magistrate Giovanni Maria Angioi the role of alternos, which meant a substitute of the viceroy himself. Angioi moved from Colliery to Cesari, and during his journey almost all the villages joined the uprising, demanding an end to feudalism and aiming to declare the island to be an independent republic, but once he was outnumbered by loyalist forces he fled to Paris and sought support for a French annexation of the island. In 1798 the islet near Sardinia was attacked by the Tunisians and over 900 inhabitants were taken away as slaves. 
The final Muslim attack on the island was on Santancho on 16 October 1815, over a millennium since the first. In 1799, as a consequence of the Napoleonic Wars in Italy, the Savoy royal family left Turin and took refuge in Colliery for some 15 years. In 1847, the Sardinian parliaments Stamenti, in order to get the Piedmontese liberal reforms they could not afford due to their separated legal system, renounced their state autonomy and agreed to form a union with Piedmont, Savoy, Nice and Liguria in order to have a single parliament, a single magistracy and a single government in Turin. This move aggravated the island's peripheral condition and most of the pro-union supporters, including its leader Giovanni Ciotto Pintor, would later regret it. In 1820, the Savoyards imposed the Enclosures Act Adito della Ciudende on the island, aimed at turning the land's traditional collective ownership, a cultural and economic cornerstone of Sardinia since the Nuragic times, to private property. This gave rise to many abuses, as the reform favoured the landholders while excluding the poor Sardinian farmers and shepherds, who witnessed the abolition of the communal rights and the sale of the land. Many local rebellions, like the Nuoris Su Conatu, the already known in Sardinian riot in 1868, all repressed by the king's army, resulted in an attempt to return to the past and reaffirm the right to use the once common land. However the common lands called ademprivios were never completely abolished, and they are still present in large number to this day. 500,000 hectares of common lands were counted in 1956, of which 345,000 constituted by woods. In 1848, the Confederation of States powered by the Savoyard kings of Sardinia became a unitarian and constitutional state and moved to the Italian Wars of Independence for the unification of Italy, that were led for 13 years. In 1861, being Italy united by a debated war campaign, the Parliament of the Kingdom of Sardinia decided by law to change its name and the title of its king to Kingdom of Italy and King of Italy. Most Sardinian forests were cut down at this time, in order to provide the Piedmontese with raw materials, like wood, used to make railway sleepers on the mainland. The extension of the primary natural forests, praised by every traveller visiting Sardinia, would in fact be reduced to one-fifth of their original number, being little more than 100.000 hectares at the end of the century. During the First World War, the Sardinian soldiers of the Brigada Cesari distinguished themselves. It was the first and only regional military unit in Italy, since the people enrolled were only Sardinians. The brigade suffered heavy losses and earned four gold medals of military valour. Sardinia lost more young people than any other Italian region on the front, with 138 casualties per 1,000 soldiers compared to the Italian average of 100 casualties. During the fascist period, with the implementation of the policy of autarky, several swamps around the island were reclaimed and agrarian communities founded. The main communities were the village of Mussolinia, now called Arboria, populated by farmers from Veneto and Friuli, in the area of Aristano and Fertilia, populated at first by settlers from the Ferrara area, followed, after World War II, by a notable number of Istrian Italians and Dalmatian Italians hailing from territories lost to Yugoslavia, in the area adjacent the city of Alghero, within the region of Nura. Also established during that time 1938 was the city of Carbonia, which became the main center of coal mining activity, that attracted thousands of workers from the rest of the island and the Italian mainland. The Sardinian writer Grazia Deletta won the Nobel Prize for Literature in 1926. During the Second World War, Sardinia was an important air and naval base and was heavily bombed by the Allies, especially the city of Colliery. German troops left the island on 8 September 1943, a few days after the armistice of Cassibile, and retired to Corsica without fighting and bloodshed. After a bilateral agreement between the General Antonio Basso, commander of the armed forces of Sardinia, and the German Karl Hans Lungerhausen, general of the 90th Panzergrenadier Division. Topic: <laughs> Post Second World War period. In 1946, by popular referendum, Italy became a republic, with Sardinia being administered since 1948 by a special statute of autonomy. By 1951, malaria was successfully eliminated by the ERLAAS, Anti-Malaric Regional Authority, and the support of the Rockefeller Foundation, which facilitated the commencement of the Sardinian tourist boom. With the increase in tourism, coal decreased in importance but Sardinia followed the Italian economic miracle. 
In the early 1960s, an industrialization effort was commenced, the so-called Piani di Rinascita rebirth plans, with the initiation of major infrastructure projects on the island. These included the construction of new dams and roads, reforestation, agricultural zones on reclaimed marshland, and large industrial complexes, primarily oil refineries and related petrochemical operations. With the creation of petrochemical industries, thousands of ex-farmers became industrial workers. The 1973 oil crisis caused the termination of employment for thousands of workers employed in the petrochemical industries, which aggravated the emigration already present in the 1950s and 1960s. Sardinia faced the creation of military bases on the island, like Decimomanu Air Base and Salto di Chira the biggest scientific military base in Europe in the same decades. Even now, around 60% of all Italian and NATO military installations in Italy are on Sardinia, whose area is less than one-tenth of all the Italian territory and whose population is little more than the 2.5%. Furthermore, they comprise over 35.000 hectares used for experimental weapons testing, where 80% of the military explosives in Italy are used. Sardinian nationalism and local protest movements became stronger in the 1970s, and a number of bandits and Sarda started a long series of kidnappings, which ended only in the 1990s. This also gave rise to various militant groups that blended separatist and communist ideas, the most famous being Barbagia Rosa and the Sardinian Armed Movement, which perpetrated several bombings and terrorist actions between the 1970s and the 1980s. In the span of just two years 1987-1988, 224 bombing attacks were reported. In 1983 a prominent activist of a separatist party, the Sardinian Action Party Partido Sardu, Partito Sardo Dazioni, was elected president of the regional parliament, and in the 1980s several other movements calling for independence from Italy were born. In the 1990s some of them became political parties, even if in a rather disjointed manner. It was not until 1999 that the island's languages Sardinian, Sassaris, Galores, Algaris and Tabarkino were recognized, even if just formally, together with Italian. The 35th G8 summit was planned by Prodi II cabinet to be held in Sardinia, on the island of La Maddalena, in July 2009. However, in April 2009, the Italian Prime Minister, Silvio Berlusconi, decided, without convoking the Italian parliament or consulting the Sardinian governor of his own party, to move the summit, even though the works were almost completed, to L'Aquila, provoking heavy protests. Today Sardinia is phasing in as an EU region, with a diversified economy focused on tourism and the tertiary sector. The economic efforts of the last 20 years have reduced the handicap of insularity, especially in the fields of low-cost air travel and advanced information technology. For example, the CRS4 Center for Advanced Studies, Research and Development in Sardinia developed the second European website and first in Italy in 1991 and Webmail in 1995. CRS4 allowed several telecommunication companies and internet service providers based on the island to flourish, such as Videonline in 1994, Tuscali in 1998 and Andala UMTs in 1999. <laughs> <laughs> Education According to the ISTAT census of 2001, the literacy rate in Sardinia among people below 64 years old is 99.5%. Total literacy rate including people over 65 is 98.2%. Illiteracy rate among males below 65 years old is 0.24% and among women 0.25%. The number of women that annually graduate at secondary high schools and universities is about 10 to 20% higher than men. Sardinia has the second highest rate of school dropout in Italy. Sardinia has two public universities, the University of Sassari and the University of Cagliari, founded in the 16th and 17th century. 48,979 students were enrolled at universities in 2007 08. Economy <inaudible> 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 Taken as a whole, Sardinia's economic conditions are such that the island is in the best position among Italian regions located south of Rome. The greatest economic development had taken place inland, in the provinces of Cagliari and Sassari, characterized by a certain amount of enterprise. 
According to Eurostat, the 2014 nominal GDP was €33,356 million, €33,085 million Euros in purchasing power parity, resulting in a GDP per capita of €19,900, which is 72% of the EU average. The per capita income in Sardinia is the highest of the southern half of Italy. The most populated provincial chief towns have higher incomes, in Cagliari the income per capita is €27,545, in Sassari €24,006, in Aristano €23,887, in Nuoro is €23,316 and in Albia is €20,827. The Sardinian economy is, however, constrained due to the high costs of the transportation of goods and electricity, which is twice that of the continental Italian Italian regions, and triple that of the EU average. Sardinia is the only Italian region that produces a surplus of electricity, and exports electricity to Corsica and the Italian mainland. In 2009, the new submarine power cable Sepe entered into operation. It links the Fiume Santo power station, in Sardinia, to the converter stations in Latina, in the Italian peninsula. The SACOI is another submarine power cable that links Sardinia to Italy, crossing Corsica, from 1965. Small-scale LNG terminals and a 404 km gas pipeline are under construction, and will be operative in 2018. They will decrease the current high cost of the electric power in the island. Three main banks are headquartered in Sardinia. However, the Banco di Sardegna and the Banca di Sassari, both originally from Sassari, are controlled by the mainland-based Banca Popolare dell'Emilia Romagna. Likewise, the Banca di Credito Sardo, originally based in Cagliari, has been absorbed by the parent company in Tesa San Paolo in 2014. There are chances for Sardinia to become a tax haven, the whole island territory being free by custom duties, VAT and excise taxes on fuel. Since February 2013, the town of Portoscuso has become the first free trade zone. According to the Article 12 of the Sardinian Statute modified by the Regional Parliament in October 2013, the territory of the autonomous region of Sardinia is located off the customs line and constitutes a free trade zone enclosed by the surrounding sea. The access points consist of the seaports and the airports. The Sardinian free trade zone is regulated by the laws of the European Union and Italy that are in force also in Lavigno, Campione d'Italia, Gorizia, Savogna di Sangso, and the region of Aosta Valley. Unemployment The unemployment rate for the fourth quarter of 2008 was 8.6%. 8 By 2012, the unemployment rate had increased to 14.6%. Its rise was due to the global financial crisis that hit Sardinian exports, mainly focused on refined oil, chemical products, and also mining and metallurgical products. The unemployment rate dropped to 11.2% at the end of 2018, which is only 1.8% higher than the national average 9.4% and 5.3% lower than Mezzogiorno regions 16.5%, according to Italian National Institute of Statistics. Topic: Economic sectors. This table shows the sectors of the Sardinian economy in 2011. Topic: Primary. Sardinia's land is dedicated 60% to livestock, 20% to agriculture, and the rest is occupied by closed forests, urban areas, and areas that are not exploitable. Sardinia is home to nearly 4 million sheep, almost half of the entire Italian assets and that makes the island one of the areas of the world with the highest density of sheep along with some parts of UK and New Zealand 135 sheep every square kilometre versus 129 in UK and 116 in New Zealand. Sardinia has been for thousands of years specialising in sheep breeding, and, to a lesser extent, goats and cattle that is less productive of agriculture in relation to land use. It is probably in breeding and cattle ownership the economic base of the early proto-historic and monumental Sardinian civilization from Neolithic to the Iron Age. Even agriculture has played a very important role in the economic history of the island, especially in the Great Plain of Campidano, particularly suitable for wheat farming. 
The Sardinian soils, even those plains are slightly permeable, with aquifers of lacking and sometimes brackish water and very small natural reserves. Water scarcity was the first problem that was faced for the modernization of the sector, with the construction of a great barrier system of dams, which today contains nearly 2 billion cubic meters of water. The Sardinian agriculture is now linked to specific products such as cheese, wine, olive oil, artichoke, tomato for a growing product export. The reclamations have helped to extend the crops and to introduce other ones such as vegetables and fruit, next to the historical ones, olive and grapes that are present in the hilly areas. The Campidano Plain, the largest lowland Sardinian produces oats, barley and durum, of which is one of the most important Italian producers. Among the vegetables, as well as artichokes, has a certain weight the production of oranges, and, before the reform of the sugar sector from the European Union, the cultivation of sugar beet. In the forests there is the cork oak, which grows naturally, Sardinia produces about 80% of Italian. The cork district, in the northern part of the Galora region, around Calangianus and Tempio Passania, is composed of 130 companies. Every year in Sardinia 200,000 quintals 20,000 tons of cork are carved, and 40% of the end products are exported. In fresh food, as well as artichokes, the production of tomatoes including Camoni tomato and citrus fruit are of a certain weight. Sardinia is the fifth Italian region for rice production. The main paddy fields are located in the Arborea Plain. In addition to meat, Sardinia produces a wide variety of cheese, considering that half of the sheep milk produced in Italy is produced in Sardinia, and is largely worked by the cooperatives of the shepherds and small industries. Sardinia also produces most of the Pecorino Romano, a non-original product of the island, much of which is traditionally addressed to the Italian overseas communities. Sardinia boasts a centuries-old tradition of horse breeding since the Aragonese domination, whose cavalry drew from equine heritage of the island to strengthen their own army or to make a gift to the other sovereigns of Europe. Today the island boasts the highest number of horse herds in Italy, there is little fishing and no real maritime tradition, Portoscuso tunas are exported worldwide, but primarily to Japan. <laughs> Industry and handicraft The once prosperous mining industry is still active though restricted to coal Naraxi figus, hamlet of Ganisa, antimony Vilasalto, gold Ferte, bauxite Olmedo, and lead and zinc Iglesiente, Nura. The granite extraction represents one of the most flourishing industries in the northern part of the island. The Galora Granite District is composed of 260 companies that work in 60 quarries, where 75% of the Italian granite is extracted. The principal industries are chemicals Porto Torres, Colliery, Villacidro, Otana, Petrochemicals Porto Torres, Seric, Metalworking Portoscuso, Portovsmi, Villacidro, Cement Colliery, Pharmaceutical Cesari, Shipbuilding Arbotics, Albia, Porto Torres, Oil Rig Construction Arbotics, Rail Industry Villacidro, Arms Industries at Domusnovas and Food Sugar Refineries at Vilasor and Aristano, Dairy at Arborea, Macamer and Thesi, Fish Factory at Albia. In Sardinia is located the DOS Distretto Aerospaziale della Sardegna, a consortium of companies, research centers and universities focused on aerospace industry and research. The aerospace manufacturer Vitrasize, in Villaputsu, is involved in the production of the stealth multirole fighter Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II. Plans related to industrial conversion are in progress in the main industrial sites, like in Porto Torres, where seven research centers are developing the transformation from traditional fossil fuel-related industry to an integrated production chain from vegetable oil using oleaginous seeds to bio-plastics. Matrica Green Chemical Sardinia is involved in the industrial industrial production of the AirPod, an innovative car powered by compressed air, with the first factory being built in Bolitana. Craft industries include rugs, jewelry, textile, lacework, basket making and coral. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Tertiary The Sardinian economy is today focused on the overdeveloped tertiary sector 67.8% of employment, with commerce, services, information technology, public administration and especially on tourism mainly seaside tourism, which represents the main industry of the island with 2,721 active companies and 189,239 rooms. 
In 2008 there were 2,363,496 arrivals up 1.4% on 2007. In the same year, the airports of the island registered 11,896,674 passengers up 1.24% on 2007. Due to its isolated and insular location, Sardinia focused part of its economy on the development of digital technologies since the dawn of Internet era, the first Italian website, one of the first webmail system and one of the first and largest Internet providers video online were realized by the CRS4, the first European online newspaper was developed by L'Union Sarda and also the first Italian UMTS company was founded on the island. Today Sardinia is the second Italian region, after Lombardy, for investments in startups owning the 20% of the Italian venture capital. <laughs> <laughs> Communications On the island are headquartered some telecommunication companies and internet service providers, such as Tuscali and the Mediterranean Skylogic Teleport, a ground station controlled by satellite provider Eutelsat. Sardinia is the Italian region with the highest E-intensity index, after the Aosta Valley index measuring the relative maturity of internet economies on the basis of three factors, enablement, engagement, and expenditure and the region with the highest internet performances, such as fastest broadband connection in Italy. Sardinia is also the Italian region with the highest percentage 41% of 4 GLTE users. The Chinese multinational telecommunications equipment and systems companies ZTE and Huawei have development centers and innovation labs in Sardinia. Sardinia has become Europe's first region to fully adopt the new digital terrestrial television broadcasting standard. From the 1st of November 2008 TV channels are broadcast only in digital. Transport Airports Sardinia has three international airports Alghero Fertilia, Riviera del Corallo Airport, Albia Costa Smeralda Airport and Cagliari Elmas Airport connected with the principal Italian cities and many European destinations, mainly in the United Kingdom, Scandinavia, Spain and Germany, and two regional airports Aristano Fenosu Airport and Tortoli Arbotics Airport. Internal air connections between Sardinian airports are limited to a daily Cagliari Albia flight. Sardinian citizens benefit from special sales on plane tickets, and several low-cost air companies operate on the island. Air Italy formerly known as Meridiana is an airline headquartered in the airport of Albia. It was founded as Alisarda in 1963 by the Aga Khan IV. The development of Alisarda followed the development of Costa Smeralda in the northeast part of the island, a well-known vacation spot among billionaires and film actors worldwide. Seaports The ferry companies operating on the island are Terrenia di Navigazione, Mobi Lines, Corsica Ferries, Sardinia Ferries, Grandi Navi Velasi, SNAV, SNCM and CMN. They link the Sardinian seaports of Porto Torres, Albia, Golfo Aranci, Arbotics, Santa Teresa Galora, Palau and Cagliari with Civitavecchia, Genoa, Livorno, Naples, Palermo, Trapani, Piombino in Italy, Marseille, Toulon, Bonifacio, Propriano and Ajaccio in France and Barcelona in Spain. A regional ferry company, the Saramar, links the main island to the islands of La Maddalena and San Pietro, and from 2011, also the port of Albia with Civitavecchia and Porto Torres with Savona. About 40 tourist harbours are located along the Sardinian coasts. <laughs> <laughs> Roads Sardinia is the only Italian region without autostrade, but the road network is well developed with a system of no toll roads with dual carriageway, called Superstrade and Super Roads, that connect the principal towns and the main airports and seaports. The speed limit is 90 km per hour, 56 miles per hour, 110 km per hour, 68 miles per hour. The principal road is the SS131. Carlo Felice. Linking the south with the north of the island, crossing the most historic regions of Porto Torres and Cagliari, it is part of European Route E25. 
The SS 131D, C, N links Aristano with Albia, crossing the hinterland Nuoro region. Other roads designed for high-capacity traffic link Sassari with Alghero, Sassari with Tempio Pasagna, Sassari, Albia, Cagliari, Tortoli, Cagliari, Iglesias, Nuoro, Lanise. A work in progress is converting the main routes to highway standards, with the elimination of all intersections. The secondary inland and mountain roads are generally narrow with many hairpin turns, so the speed limits are very low. Public transport buses reach every town and village at least once a day, however, due to the low density of population, the smallest territories are reachable only by car. The Azienda Regionale Sarda Trasporti is the public regional bus transport agency. Networks of city buses serve the main towns. In Sardinia 1,295,462 vehicles circulate, equal to 613 per 1,000 inhabitants. Topic. Railways The Sardinian railway system was developed starting from the 19th century by the Welsh engineer Benjamin Piercy. Today there are two different railway operators Trenitalia which connects the most populated towns, the main ports and also the Italian peninsula through the use of train ferries. This network is the most modern on the island, running primarily diesel locomotives such as the Alstom Minuetto and, from 2015 the faster tilting train CAF ATR 365 and ATR 465, specifically designed for the Sardinian railway network. ARST, the trains run on narrow gauge track, are generally slow, due to the tortuosity of the lines, except for the electrified tram trains operating in the metropolitan areas of Sassari and Cagliari. The Trenino Verde little green train is a railway tourism service operated by ARST. Vintage railcars and steam locomotives run through the wildest parts of the island. They allow the traveller to have scenic views impossible to see from the main roads. Demographics With a population density of 69 per square kilometres, slightly more than a third of the national average, Sardinia is the fourth least populated region in Italy. In the recent past the population distribution was anomalous compared to that of other Italian regions lying on the sea. In fact, contrary to the general trend, most urban settlement, with the exception of the fortified cities of Cagliari, Alghero, Castelsardo and few others, has not taken place primarily along the coast but in the subcoastal areas and towards the center of the island. Historical reasons for this include the repeated Saracen raids during the Middle Ages and then Barbary raids until the early 19th century making the coast unsafe, widespread pastoral activities inland, and the swampy nature of the coastal plains reclaimed definitively only in the 20th century. The situation has been reversed with the expansion of seaside tourism. Today all Sardinia's major urban centers are located near the coasts, while the island's interior is very sparsely populated. It is the region with the lowest total fertility rate 1.087 births per woman and the second lowest birth rate of Italy which is already one of the lowest in the world. Combined with the aging of population going rather fast in 2009, people older than 65 were 18, 7%. Rural depopulation is quite a big issue. Between 1991 and 2001, 71, 4% of Sardinian villages have lost population 32 more than 20% and 115 between 10% and 20%, with over 30 of them being at risk to become ghost towns. Nonetheless, the overall population has been increasing because of a considerable immigration flow, mainly from the Italian mainland, Eastern Europe especially. Romania, Africa and Asia. <laughs> life expectancy Average life expectancy is slightly over 82 years 85 for women and 79.7 .7 for men. Sardinia shares with the Japanese island of Okinawa the highest rate of centenarians in the world 22 centenarians, 100,000 inhabitants. Sardinia is the first discovered blue zone, a demographic and or geographic area in the world with an oversize concentration of centenarians and supercentenarians. Foreign immigration 
In 2016 there were 50,346 foreign national residents, forming 3% of the total Sardinian population. The most represented nationalities were Main cities and functional urban areas Sardinia's most populated cities are Colliery and Sassari. The metropolitan city of Colliery has 431,302 inhabitants, or about one quarter of the population of the entire island. Eurostat has identified in Sardinia two functional urban areas, Colliery, with 477,000 inhabitants, and Sassari, with 222,000 inhabitants. <laughs> <laughs> Government and politics Sardinia is one of the five Italian autonomous regions, along with the Aosta Valley, Trentino Alto Adige, Sutteral, Friuli Venezia Giulia and Sicily. Its particular statute, which in itself is a constitutional law, gives the region a limited degree of autonomy, entailing the right to carry out the administrative functions of the local body and to create its own laws in a strictly defined number of domains. The regional administration is constituted by three authorities. The Regional Council legislative power. The Regional Junta executive power. The President chief of executive power. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Administrative Divisions. Since 2016, Sardinia is divided into 4 provinces: Nuoro, Uristano, Sassari, South Sardinia, and the metropolitan city of Cagliari. Military installations Around 65% of all the Italian and NATO military installations in Italy are on Sardinia, whose area is less than one-tenth of all the Italian territory and whose population is little more than the 2,5%. The bases, used for manufacturing plants and military testing grounds, totally take up more than 350 square kilometres of the island's land, making Sardinia the most militarised region in Italy and the most militarised island in Europe. Besides the land occupying installations, where 80% of the military explosives in Italy are used, there are also other military structures located on the sea and along the coastline, roughly equivalent to 20,000 square kilometers, little less than the island's surface, being made inaccessible to the civil population when military exercises are being held. Among the others, the most notable military bases on the island are the interagency polygons in Kira, Capo Teolada and Capo Frasca, used by Italian and NATO forces to test fire ballistic missiles and weapons and by Italian and European Space Agency to test space vehicles and for orbital launches. Until 2008, the U.S. Navy had also a nuclear submarine base in the Maddalena archipelago. Culture Sardinia is the only autonomous region in Italy where its special statute uses the term popolo distinct people to refer to its inhabitants. While this formula is also used by Veneto, which unlike Sardinia is an ordinary region, the Sardinian statute is adopted with a constitutional law. In both cases, such term is not meant to imply any legal difference between Sardinians and any other citizen of the country. Architecture Of the prehistoric architecture in Sardinia there are numerous testimonies such as the Domus de Janus hypogeic tombs, the Giant's Grave, the Megalithic Circles, the Menhirs, the Dolmens and the Well Temples. However, the element that more than any other characterizes the Sardinian prehistoric landscape are the Nurag. The remains of thousands of these Bronze Age buildings of various types simple and complex are still visible today. There are also numerous traces left by the Phoenicians and Punics who introduced new urban forms on the coasts. The Romans gave a new administrative structure to the whole island through the restructuring of several cities, the creation of new centres and the construction of many infrastructures of which the ruins remain, such as the Palace of Re Barbaro in Porto Torres or the Roman Amphitheatre of Colliery. Even from the early Christian and Byzantine epoch there are several testimonies throughout the territory both on the coasts and inside, especially linked to buildings of worship. 
A particular development had Romanesque architecture during the Judicati period. Starting from 1063 the Sardinian judges Judicis, through substantial donations, had favoured the arrival to the island of monks of different orders from various regions of Italy and France. These circumstances favoured in turn the arrival to the island of workers from Pisa, Lombardy, Provence and Muslim Spain, giving rise to unprecedented artistic manifestations, marked by the fusion of these experiences. The cornerstone in the evolution of Romanesque architectural forms was the Basilica of San Gavino in Porto Torres. Among the most relevant examples there are the cathedrals of Sant'Ancio di Basurcio Ozieri, San Pietro di Soras in Beruta, San Nicola di Otana, the Palatine Chapel of Santa Maria del Regno of Ardera, the Santa Giusta Cathedral, Nostra Signora di Turgu, the Basilica di Sacrahia in Cadrangianos and Santa Maria di Uta and, of the 13th century, the cathedrals of Santa Maria di Monserrato and San Pantaleo Dolianova. As for military architecture, numerous castles to defend the territory were built during this period. At the beginning of the 14th century date the fortifications and towers of Colliery, designed by Giovanni Capilla. After their arrival in 1324, the Aragonese concentrated the first realizations in Colliery. The oldest Catalan Gothic church in Sardinia is the Shrine of Our Lady of Benaria. Also in Colliery in the same years the Aragonese chapel was built inside the cathedral. In the first half of the 15th century a real Gothic jewel was built, the complex of San Domenico, which included the church and the convent, almost completely destroyed during the air raids of 1943, and of which only the cloister remains. Other works were the churches of San Francesco of Stampace of which only a part of the cloister remains, Santeulalia and San Giacomo. In Alghero in the second half of the 15th century the construction of the Church of San Francesco and in the 16th century of the cathedral began. Renaissance architecture, although poorly represented, includes notable examples such as the installation of the Cathedral of San Nicola di Cesari late Gothic but with a strong Renaissance influence, the Church of Sant'Agostino di Cagliari designed by Pagliaro Frattino, the Church of Santa Caterina in Cesari designed by Bernardoni, a pupil of Vignola. On the contrary, the Baroque architecture has found wide prominence. Interesting examples are the Collegiata di Sant'Anna in Cagliari, the facade of the Cathedral of San Nicola in Sassari, the Church of San Michele in Cagliari, as well as the Cathedral of Cagliari, Ailes, and Aristano, rebuilt or modified between the 17th and 18th centuries. Starting from the 19th century, new architectural forms of neoclassical inspiration spread throughout the island. Among the most important figures of this architectural and urban phase is that of the architect from Colliery Gaetano Cima, whose works are scattered throughout the Sardinian territory. Alongside the works of Cima, it is worth mentioning those of Giuseppe Caminati Palazzo and Civic Theatre of Cesari and Antonio Cano Dome of S. Maria di Betlam in Cesari and the Cathedral of Santa Maria della Neve in Nuoro. In the second half of the 19th century in Sassari was built the Neo-Gothic Palace Giordano 1878, which is one of the earliest examples of revivalism in the island. An interesting realization of eclectic style, derived from the union between revivalist and Art Nouveau models, appears to be the City Hall of Colliery, completed in the early 20th century. The advent of fascism has strongly influenced architecture in Sardinia in the 20s and 30s. Interesting achievements of that period are the new centers of Fertilia, Arborea, and the city of Carbonia, one of the greatest examples of rationalist architecture. Topic: <laughs> Art. Numerous findings of the typical statues of the Mother Goddess and pottery engraved with geometric designs testify the artistic expressions of the pre neuragic peoples. Subsequently, the neuragic civilization produced hundreds of bronze statuettes and the enigmatic stone statuary of the giants of Monte Prama. The union between the neuragic populations and the merchants coming from every part of the Mediterranean led to a refined production of gold artifacts, rings, earrings, and jewelry of all kinds, but also votive steles and wall decorations. 
In addition to architecture linked to public works, the Romans introduced the mosaics and decorated the rich villas of the patricians with sculptures and paintings. In the Middle Ages, during the Judicati period, the architecture of the churches were enriched with capitals, sarcophagi, frescoes, marble altars, and later embellished with retables. Paintings by important artists such as the master of Castelsardo, Pietro Cavaro, Andrea Lusso, and the school of the so called master of Ozieri, who was headed by Giovanni del Giglio and Pietro Giovanni Calvano, of Sinise origin. In the 19th century and in early 20th century originated the myths of an uncontaminated and timeless island. Recounted by the many travelers who visited Sardinia in that period, like D. H. Lawrence, such myths were celebrated mainly by Sardinian artists such as Giuseppe Biasi, Francesco Ciusa, Filippo Figari, Mario Dellatala and Stanis Desi. In their works they highlighted the autochthonous values of the agro-pastoral world, not yet homologate to the modernity that was pressing from the outside. Other important Sardinian artists of the second half of the 20th century were Costantino Nivola, Maria Lai, Albino Manca and Pinuccio Sciola. <laughs> <laughs> world Heritage Sites Megalithic building structures called nuragues are scattered in great numbers throughout Sardinia. Su Nurexi di Barumini is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Languages Italian, which is the official language throughout Italy, is the most widely spoken language today, followed by the island's historical language, Sardinian Su Sardu. Sardinian is a distinct branch of the Romance language family, it is therefore a separate language rather than an Italian dialect, and it is also closer to its Latin roots than Italian itself. Sardinian has been formally recognized as one of the twelve historical language minorities of Italy since 1997, by regional and Italian law. The language has been influenced by Catalan, Spanish and recently Italian, while the once spoken Nuragic contributes many features to it in many ancient remnants. In 2006 the regional administration has approved the use of a standardized writing system, the so-called Limba Sarda Comuna, in official acts. As a literary language, Sardinian is gaining importance, despite heated debate about the lack of a commonly acknowledged standard orthography and controversial proposed solutions to this problem. The two most widely spoken forms of the language are the southern dialects, known as Campadanese, and the northern dialects known as Logudoresi, extending almost to the suburbs of Sassari. The Sardinian language is quite different from the other Romance languages and is homogeneous in terms of morphology, syntax and lexicon, but it also shows a spectrum of variation in terms of phonetics between the northern and the southern dialects. Sassaris and Galoris are classified as Corso-Sardinian languages, therefore more akin to the Italo-Dalmatian branch than to the Sardinian one, and are spoken in the north. In Sardinia there are examples of language islands, Algarese is a dialect of Catalan spoken in the city of Alguero, on the islands of San Pietro and Sant'Ancho, located in the extreme southwest of Sardinia, the local population speaks a variant of Ligurian called Tabarchino El Tabarchin. fewer and fewer people speak Venetian, Friulian and Istriate in Arborea and Fertilia, since these villages have been populated in the 1920s and 1930s by colonists who mainly came from northeastern Italy and families from Istria and Dalmatia immediately after World War II. Due to the Italian assimilation policies carried out since 1760 and the ongoing absorption into the Italian culture, over the course of time the once prevalent indigenous languages have been increasingly losing ground to Italian and the process of ongoing language shift has led to their extreme endangerment. In fact, according to the data published by ISTAT in 2006, 52.5% of the Sardinian population speaks just Italian in the family environment, while 29.3% alternates Italian and Sardinian and only 16.6% .6 uses Sardinian or other non-Italian languages. Outside the circle of family and friends, the last option drops to 5.2%. Following the recent growth of the foreign-born population, the presence of other languages, principally Romanian, Arabic, Wolof and Chinese, is expanding in some urban areas. <laughs> <laughs> Literature <laughs> 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 
Traditional clothes Colorful and of various and original forms, the Sardinian traditional clothes are a clear symbol of belonging to specific collective identities. Although the basic model is homogeneous and common throughout the island, each town or village has its own traditional clothing which differentiates it from the others. Music Sardinia is home to one of the oldest forms of vocal polyphony, generally known as Cantu a tenor. In 2005, UNESCO classed the Cantu a tenor among intangible world heritage. Several famous musicians have found it irresistible, including Frank Zappa, Ornette Coleman, and Peter Gabriel. The latter traveled to the town of Bidi in the central mountainous region and recorded the now world-famous tenors D. Bidi CD on his real-world label. The guttural sounds produced in this form make a remarkable sound, similar to Tuvan throat singing. Another polyphonic style of singing, more like the Corsican pagula and liturgic in nature, is found in Sardinia and is known as Cantu a Concordu. Another unique instrument is the lanetas. Three reed canes two of them glued together with beeswax produce distinctive harmonies, which have their roots many thousands of years ago, as demonstrated by the bronze statuettes from Idiri, of a man playing the three reed canes, dated to 2000 BC. Beyond this, the tradition of Cantu a Chatera guitar songs has its origins in town squares, when artists would compete against one another. The most famous singer of this genre are Maria Carta and Elena Letta. Sardinian culture is alive and well, and young people are actively involved in their own music and dancing. In 2004, BBC presenter Andy Kershaw travelled to the island with Sardinian music specialist Pablo Farba and interviewed many artists. His programme can be heard on BBC Radio 3. Sardinia has produced a number of notable jazz musicians such as Antonello Salas, Marcelo Melis, and Paolo Fresu. The main opera houses of the island are the Teatro Lirico in Cagliari and the Teatro Comunale in Sassari. Topic: <coughs> Cuisine. <coughs> Meat, dairy products, grains and vegetables constitute the most basic elements of the traditional diet. To a lesser extent rock lobster, alagusta, scampi, botarga, butariga, squid, tuna. Suckling pig and wild boar are roasted on the spit or boiled in stews of beans and vegetables, thickened with bread. Herbs such as mint and myrtle are used. Much Sardinian bread is made dry, which keeps longer than high-moisture breads. Those are baked as well, including sivrasho, kokoi pintao, a highly decorative bread and pistaku made with flour and water only, originally meant for herders, but often served at home with tomatoes, basil, oregano, garlic and a strong cheese. Traditional cheeses include pecorino sardo, pecorino romano, casazolu, ricotta and the kazu martsu notable for containing live insect larvae. One of the most famous of foods is pain carasau, the flat bread of Sardinia, famous for its thin crunchiness. Originally the making of this bread was a hard process which needed three women to do the job. This flat bread is always made by hand as it gives a different flavor the more you work the dough. After working the dough it will be rolled out in very thin circles and placed in an extremely hot stone oven where the dough will blow up into a ball shape. Once the dough achieves that state it is then removed from the oven where it is then cut into two thin sheets and stacked to go back into the oven. Alcoholic beverages include many peculiar wines such as Cananao, Malvasia, Vernaccia, Vermentina, various liquors like Aberdente, Filu Furu and Mirto. Beer is the most drunk alcoholic beverage. Sardinia boasts the highest consumption per capita of beer in Italy, twice higher than national average. Bira Ignusa is the most commercialized beer produced in Sardinia. Topic: <laughs> Sports. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Football. Cagliari is home to Cagliari Calcio, which was founded in 1920 and play in the Serie A, the Italian First Division. It won the Italian Championship in the 1969-70 Serie A season, becoming the first club in southern Italy to achieve such a result. Today, home matches are played at the Sardegna Arena. Sardinia has also joined CONIFA, a football federation for all associations outside FIFA.
Topic: Basketball. Sassari is home to Dinamo Basket Sassari, the only Sardinian professional basketball club playing in the Lega Basket Serie A, the highest level club competition in Italian professional basketball. It was founded in 1960, and is also known as Dinamo Banco di Sardegna thanks to a long sponsorship deal with the Sardinian Bank. Since its promotion in Lega A in 2010, it has been enjoying the support of fans from Sassari and all over Sardinia with full house matches on every game played at home. Dinamo Sassari achieved the highest titles in the Italian basketball in 2015, winning the Coppa Italia, the Supercoppa and the Italian Basketball Championship. Motor racing In the province of Sassari is the Mores Motor Racing Circuit, the only FIA circuit homologate by CSAI cars and the IMF motorcycles, in Sardinia. Colliery hosted a Formula 3000 race in 2002 and 2003 on a 2.414 km street circuit around Santelia Stadium. In 2003, Renault F1's Jarno Trulli and former Ferrari driver Gene Alessi did a spectacular exhibition. At the Grand Prix BMW F1 driver Robert Kubica took part in a F3 car, as did BMW WTCC Augusto Farfus, GP2's Ferruz Fazi and Vitaly Petrov. Since 2004 Sardinia has hosted the Rally d'Italia Sardegna, a rally competition in the FIA World Rally Championship schedule. The rally is held on narrow, twisty, sandy and bumpy mountainous roads in the north of the island. Water sports On the island of Caprera is located the Centro Velico Caprera, that is considered one of the largest school of sailing in the Mediterranean Sea, founded in 1967. The yacht club Costa Smeralda located in Porto Servo and founded in 1967 is the main yachting club in the island. Annually the island hosts the Loro Piana Super Yacht Regatta and the Maxi Yacht Rolex Cup. Part of the Louis Vuitton Trophy was held in the Maddalena Archipelago in 2010. Vento di Sardegna N, Wind of Sardinia was a sailboat sponsored by the autonomous region of Sardinia. Its skipper, Andrea Mura, won the single-handed transatlantic race in 2013 and in 2017, the two-handed transatlantic race two -star regatta in 2012 and the Route du Rhum. Porto Poyo, north of Palau, is a bay well known by windsurfers and kitesurfers. The bay is divided by a thin tongue of land that separates it in an area for advanced and beginner, intermediate windsurfers. There is also a restricted area for kitesurf. Many freestyle windsurfers went to Porto Poyo for training and 2007 saw the finale of the Freestyle Pro Kids Europe 2007 contest. Because of the Venturi effect between Sardinia and Corsica, western wind accelerates between the islands and creates the wind that makes Porto Poyo popular among windsurfing enthusiasts. Colliery hosts regularly international regattas, such RC44 Championship, FAR40 World Championship, Audi MedCup and Kite Championships. In view of the 36th Americas Cup, scheduled to take place in New Zealand in 2021, Luna Rosa Challenge has chose Colliery as place for its preparation. Winter sports Four ski resorts are located on the Gennargentu Range at Separadorju, Monte Spada, Serena and Brunku Spina, they are equipped with ski schools, skilifts and ski equipment hire. Traditional sports Sistrumpa, also known as Sardinian wrestling, is a traditional Sardinian sport, officially recognized by the Italian National Olympic Committee and the International Federation of Celtic Wrestling It shows similarities with the Scottish backhold and the Goran. Istrumpa's wrestlers participate annually at the championships for Celtic wrestling styles. Sardinia boasts ancient equestrian traditions and is the Italian region with the highest number of horse riders 29% of population and boasts also fine darts tradition, which many believe originated in the Sassari region of the country towards the end of the 15th century. 
In those days, the darts were carved from beech fagus wood and the flights were feathers drawn from the indigenous Pollo Sultano Sultana bird, famed for its spectacular violet-blue plumage. <inaudible> <inaudible> environment Following an enormous reforestation plan Sardinia has become the Italian region with the largest forest extension, 1,213,250 hectares square kilometers or 50% of the island is covered by forested areas. The Corpo Forestale e di Vigilanza Ambientale della Regione Sarda is the Sardinian Forestry Corps. Sardinia is the Italian region most affected by forest fires during the summer. The regional landscape plan prohibits new building activities on the coast except in urban centers, next to forests, lakes or other environmental or cultural sites and the Coastal Conservation Agency ensures the protection of natural areas on the Sardinian coast. Renewable energies have increased noticeably in recent years, mainly wind power, favored by the windy climate, but also solar power Carlo Rubbia, noblest in physics, is creating an experimental solar thermal energy central and biofuel, based on Jatrapa oil and colza oil. 586.8 MW of wind power capacity were installed on the island at the end of 2009. Fauna. <laughs> Sardinia is home to a wide variety of rare or uncommon animals, such as several species of mammals, many of them belonging to an endemic subspecies, the Mediterranean monk seal, Sarchidano horse, Giara horse, albino donkey, Sardinian feral cat, mouflon, Sardinian long-eared bat, Sardinian deer, fallow deer, Sardinian fox Vulpes Vulpes Ignace, Sardinian hare Lepus capensis mediterraneus, wild boar Sus scrofa meridionalis, edible dormouse and European pine marten. Rare amphibians, found only on the island, are the Sardinian brook salamander, brown cave salamander, imperial cave salamander, Monte Albo cave salamander, Supermonte cave salamander and Cerebus cave salamander cerebusensis. .The Sardinian tree frog is also found in Corsica and in the Tuscan archipelago. Among reptiles worthy of note are Bedriaga's rock lizard, the Tyrrhenian wall lizard and Fitzinger's algyroids, endemic species of Sardinia and Corsica. The island is inhabited by terrestrial tortoises and sea turtles like Hermann's tortoise, the spur-thighed tortoise, marginated tortoise Testudo marginata sarda, nebaeul tortoise, loggerhead sea turtle and green sea turtle. A new arachnid species, endemic to the island, has been recently found, the neuragic spider. Sardinia has four endemic subspecies of birds found nowhere else in the world, its great spotted woodpecker SSP harderti, great tit SSP echi, common chaffinch SSP sarda, and Eurasian jay SSP It also shares a further ten endemic subspecies of bird with Corsica. In some cases Sardinia is a delimited part of the species range. For example, the subspecies of hooded crow, Corvus cornix ssp cornix occurs in Sardinia and Corsica, but no further south. Some birds of prey found here are the griffin vulture, common buzzard, golden eagle, long-eared owl, western marsh harrier, peregrine falcon, European honey buzzard, Sardinian goshawk Accipiter gentilis arigoni, Bonelli's eagle and Eleonora's falcon, whose name comes from Eleonora of Arborea, national heroine of Sardinia, expert in falconry. The hundreds of lagoons and coastal lakes that dot the island are home for many species of wading birds, such as the greater flamingo. Conversely, Sardinia lacks many species common on the European continent, such as the viper, wolf, bear and marmot. The island has also long been used for grazing flocks of indigenous Sardinian sheep. The Sardinian Anglo-Arab is a horse breed that was established in Sardinia, where it has been selectively bred for more than 100 years. Three different breeds of dogs are peculiar to Sardinia, the Pastor Fanis, Dogo Sardo and Lavrero Sardo. Beaches In Sardinia there are more than 100 beaches. The geology of the island provides a variety of beaches, for example beaches made of fine sand or of quartz grain. Along the west coast there are steep cliffs and gentle sandy beaches. The northern east coast near Albia has a lot of large sandy beaches. The middle of the east coast near Kala Ganwan consists of cliffs and caves. 
and in the southeast coast Arbotics and other villages there are rocky beaches as well as sandy beaches. Natural parks and reserves Over 600,000 hectares of Sardinian territory is environmentally preserved about 25% of the island's territory. The island has three national parks 1. Asinara National Park 2. Arcipelago de la Maddalena National Park, and 3. Genargentu National Park, the numbers correspond to those in the map to right, 10 regional parks 4. Parco del Limbara 5. Parco del Marguin e Gociano 6. Parco del Sinus, Monteferru 7. Parco di Monte Arci 8. Parco della Ghiara di Gesturi 9. Parco di Monte Lenis, Orida, Margani 10. Parco dei Set Fratelli, Monte Genas 11. Parco del Sulcais Parco Natural Regionale di Porto Conte Parco Regionale Molentargius, Salinathir are 60 wildlife reserves, 5 WWF oases, 25 natural monuments and 1 geomineral park, preserved by UNESCO. Northern Sardinian coasts are included in the Pelagos Sanctuary for Mediterranean Marine Mammals, a marine protected area, that covers a surface of about 84,000 square kilometres 32,433 square miles, aimed at the protection of marine mammals. See also List of islands of Italy History of Sardinia List of tourist attractions in Sardinia Sardinian people, list of Sardinians Sardinian language Judicati Kingdom of Sardinia Sardinian literature Sardinian literary spring List of monarchs of Sardinia